Well, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Dark Alanoa channel with some more Factorio! And today we are back here, and hopefully, I will be able to automate the rest of the science pack that we have available here. But one hurdle that we will face today, I have noticed, is to produce the production science pack. We'll need electrical furnaces, and each electrical furnace needs 10 stone bricks. So, yeah, we need stone as well, but the problem is this stone patch has aliens near it and this stone patch have aliens on it what <laughs> so aliens there aliens were aliens everywhere so we will start with military science pack today and to produce production science pack we need electrical engine units as well which are very slow to produce so what I've done here is basically copied this electrical engine producing plant here that is used for our robots and I've copied that and I've realized that this space in here is really empty this space around in here is really empty because our f assembling arrays in here are not that long so we can just take that out and rotate it and place it as we wish just gotta make sure that the electrical grid is placed perfectly and I'll be happy for the rest of the days. <laughs> there we go, I think that is placed correctly and we will let our robot army come in and build it since everything is in the logistic networks and look at them come in waves. That looks truly amazing. We'll let it build. We'll wash it get built. That was really fast. <laughs> robots. Really amazing. Look at that. Imagine robots with higher speeds. In seconds. These things were built in seconds. There we go. Completely built. <laughs> <laughs> wow! And since we were having a drastic decrease in iron plate production just because our iron ore up near the iron plate producers were almost gone, I had to place another iron ore extraction site right in here and I think this thing is around 300k 490k so it should last us a little bit of time and this ugly belt is everywhere this ugly ore belt is going through everywhere but it was kind of a necessity because if you don't have iron your pro progress essentially halts so yeah here it is our iron ore built and in you go to the iron plate production a full belt of iron ore we should have a full compressed belt of iron plates once it reaches here that is we'll wait for it and watch it there full compressed ore belt and all of the furnaces should shoot up Yup. Yup. Go ahead, go ahead. I'll be happy if it comes even to where I'm standing. The fire of the furnaces is spreading. It's spreading everywhere. Finally! It, it, it has almost used all of the furnaces. And we had a few extra furnaces, so I would say... No, it actually used all of the furnaces. That is good. A full compressed belt of iron back again. And there we go. We can continue doing what we were doing. Producing science facts to make more science. <laughs> Would you look at this area of the burst, guys? There are so many splitters, so many underground belts. It's mind-boggling, but it works. So it is good. Iron is in. There we go. We will watch the iron go in. 
It is always satisfying to look at a saturated belt of something go in and ultimately be split by a splitter. It is always so so satisfying. Almost there. Almost there. Iron plates are in and they will be split up and this whole electrical engine plant will work once I hook up the lubricant that is and I can do that later because we do not need the electrical engines at the current moment and now that is done we can move on to making the military science packs and the tank would need a military science pack so yeah we will need the tank we have the gears we need for the gun turrets here and we shall bring another ar actually iron is coming in here and then the iron is just stopping there so why not we just do this instead look at that would you look at that that is something that I like. Restoration of iron here, but there is a roboport in the middle. God damn it. Why do you do this roboport? <laughs> Why do you absolutely have to do this? Why are you so big is my question. Roboport. Why are you so big? Never mind, we won't be using that belt there. There we go. Iron restored here, a full belt of iron here. Doesn't hurt anybody, does it now? Nope, it doesn't. <laughs> full belt of iron here, gears are here, and now iron gear wheel copper plate and iron plate as well so we can place a decent amount of you say one two three four five six seven and one two three four five six seven there we go we can bring copper in the middle or iron, half iron and half gear in the middle. We'll see. By the power of infinite amounts of conveyor belts, I summon you, copper. <laughs> Look at that conveyor belt jamming there. Every single tile has conveyor belt. <laughs> but I can like it. I kind of very much like it. <laughs> So, iron gear is there. Iron gear will need to come back a little. And mixture of copper and iron gear wheel. Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> and we can split iron plates from this belt because this is coming straight from the bus. So half a belt of iron should be enough for this. If not, we can uh, uh, shove down another belt of iron here down the line, which we, we actually can do. So we are needing a lot of iron here. We can just do it, shove another iron belt in here. There we go. <laughs> so many underground belts and so many underground conveyor belts and stuff in, in the here. It's it's just ridiculous. It's sometimes very ridiculous. <laughs> and I need to do a little bit of trickery here. Coal. There you go. Coal for you. Two belts in, two belts out. Amazing. And that splitter isn't necessary there, but I'll just keep it there just to keep things balanced. Give me that conveyor belt. You don't need that. And they're bringing me <laughs> underground belts. R work a little, all right. <laughs> there we go. Iron. Yes, we can split iron from in here. 
We can do even more conveyor belt magic. There we go. And we can just place a splitter here instead. <laughs> this is this is truly what I would call a spaghetti of <laughs> conveyor belts. Oh no. Electronic we need electronic circuits there. Okay. So iron needs to be a little bit upward. <laughs> And splitters. There you go. Iron belt in there. I like to see all those full conveyor belts. They just they just kinda look very amazing. That's all. Gun turrets have been brought back into our factories from like 10 episodes ago. <laughs> there we go, and a merger. Gun turrets are in. This guy doesn't have a gun turret in, right? So we can just change that like this. There you go. You need abominable amount of iron plates. I can see that. <laughs> but I guess that should be good enough once I upgrade the belt to the blue belts. There we go. Gun turrets. And now we will need grenade, which is iron plate and coal. Really not that hard. Really not that hard, is it now? And piercing magazines, which we'll need firearm magazines, steel plate, and copper. Yeah, I'll have to think about it. Although these grenade producers don't need that many iron, but it does need a full belt of coal to run this many grenade producers. So, yeah, I had to do one full belt of coal and half belts of iron these are really half belts of iron and really not full belts of iron because right now these are not working since they have a few grenades inside them and the iron is has filled this belt up and it looks like a fill belt so now we can place another belt to take out the grenades from here and finally we can produce the magazines which will be producing our military science packs. There we go. Poop out the grenades there. And the grenades are here. So what we can do here is have half a belt of gun turrets and half a belt of grenades <laughs> and I think that will be enough for the military science pack yes it needs one of each so yeah I might have overdid it yet again just might have there we go half a belt of grenade and half a belt of gun turret there and we have a lot of coal inside us because I deleted the coal belt a few times to make it just a little bit right eh, but we have a lot of logistics robots which can take care of the trashing for us look at that logistic robot train already here <laughs> and we'll trash the wood as well you can work as you like and now finally we shall move on to making piercing round magazines so to make piercing round magazines we need magazines first and that just needs plain and simple iron plates <laughs> everything seems to be needing iron plates we'll have one row of magazine makers and that will be it one really long row of magazine makers there we go Magazine producers for me, please. Firearm magazines. So, one belt of iron for you. 
which I think I will have to bring in another belt from the bus and another belt of magazines coming out from you there we go a full belt of iron coming in to satisfy the needs of magazine producers and this magazine needs to be imported somewhere below there so I'll be changing the direction of this while you guys can come right beside that thing there we go beautiful <laughs> you guys have the space to come through an underground belt but you sir you absolutely do not you absolutely do not and what would we need don't need steel oh my lord steel and copper plates so we gotta bring them here as well so a full belt of copper plate and a belt compromising of half firearm magazines and half steel plates that is how it is gonna be I wanted to place it here but we have our iron source here so after thinking for a while I thought to myself that why do I have the solar power plant here we can absolutely have so much more factory space in here so I moved that thing and now I am gonna place that thing right about in here and yeah this thing is gonna be temporary as well since I am thinking of driving these aliens out and actually making my solar power plant there because we will need more than these tiles that is for sure and our army of robots are coming in and since we might have a lot of issues with aliens here we will place a decent amounts of torrents in here and in here as well there we go and as soon as our robots actually have placed stuff in which is very fast actually even with that slow robot speed they are building this thing incredibly fast absolutely incredibly fast and the middle roboport is struggling to do stuff come on we need we need the substations here come on I'll, I'll manually place the substations there if I have any that is I don't why do I not have substations in me because aliens might attack substations <laughs> doesn't look like I can figure out where the substations actually are there is a substation there we go and another substation shall be here there we go amazing it was built up so fast and the turrets are in place so we can be in peace hey aliens let's g give the turrets a go alright let's give the turrets a go there get mauled <laughs> get squished with lasers thank you for the delivery robots Goodbye, more of our older factory. Goodbye. Oh, come on, autosave, really? <laughs> Goodbye to a lot of our older factory. And yeah, I have made sure that the power is going there. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe I haven't made sure that the power is going there before deleting this thing so I'll just do this an ugly power setup but a power setup nonetheless for right now <laughs> look at that works pretty good and I have brought the magazines and the mixture of gun turrets and grenades to the other side of the bus so here they are and now we can start making 
the piercing ammunitions right about somewhere in here and this space in the middle will be occupied by labs I would suppose so yeah that is what I have in mind we'll go ahead and build that that one there is just for reference purposes so what do we need again for advanced rounds I mean the piercing rounds that will be steel plate and copper so ha uh, a belt half fire magazine and half steel plate so we can just add some steel plates to the magazine belt if we can the other one will go mix into this thing awesome and we will do is a filter inserter with steel where is it steel in here we'll grid that thing up there we go bus continued steel is coming in here so half a plate of steel and why is oh because okay now I get it because this thing is not charged so one robot port not being charged in the middle can pose a lot of problem for you and a lot of robots should be coming in to take away whatever there is in that thing yep a lot of robots coming in <laughs> so advanced I mean piercing bullets there we go did that all that oh there's a chest in there oh wow that is yep yep I knew it a train is gonna come like that and a train is gonna pick up stuff from there look at that <laughs> go back train and the train needs to charge so yeah cool effects there absolutely very cool effects there <laughs> look at that I wish that would have happened in the daytime would have looked much cooler but nonetheless it did look cool and here I have found out a much better solution for adding steel to half a belt of this and this works perfectly this thing has been set up and the only thing left is to bring copper and place the inserters so I'm placing the output inserters first here because that's new for me <laughs> and copper will be coming in from there there we go oh <laughs> no we do not need two inserters per assembling plan there absolutely do not need that there we go and you can put steel and magazines into that thing while it's a good placement of this what is that again piercing round magazine yes piercing I just can't remember piercing I keep calling them advanced rounds I just can't do it and it's a good placement because look at that this is the place where we had our previous piercing magazine production and this chest is just full of them I can manually transfer them which is gonna be good and we just need a little bit of copper in here so that can be done very easily copper and you shall be producing some magazines for us that will be good can shift the places of you is copper not coming in wow copper is just enough for up to this this one is never gonna be used no no it is gonna be used alright so yeah that is good and we'll have a chest here actually provider chest and we will provide you with all the magazines we can hold in our inventory 
There we go. So you don't have to work so hard. Because we do not have enough production of iron and copper plates whatsoever. Only one full compressed belt of iron and copper is just not enough I have seen. Just not enough. And I'll stop you there. <laughs> there we go. Our magazine has been produced. And our mixed belt of mixed. Yes, sure. <laughs> I am really tired right now. I do not know why. I was sitting home all day today, but I seem to be really tired today. And what happened to you? Why did that happen to you? There we go. The mixed belt of grenade and gun turrets is coming in and that advanced no piercing magazine is here as well. So we only need to do is finally produce the military science packs there. That took me insane amounts of time. That actually took me more time than I did anticipate. Oh my lord, that took me more time than I anticipated. Very much more time. <laughs> Mm, there we go. That can hold the magazines in. And there needs to be another belt for holding in the mixed belt of gun turrets and grenades. So, yeah, we can do that. There we go. We can place the belts there. Auto save here again. Always auto saved in this game. Auto save in this game has saved me countless amount of times. Countless. And there we go. That should go in right there. And you shall go in right about in there. And we will place first the longhand inserter since it needs a little bit of trickery in there. Assembling plans designated. Produce all you want. There we go. And finally, after so many hours, yes, it took me two hours in real time but I think by the power of editing you guys will have a 30 or 40 minutes experience so yeah I think this is the perfect time to end this episode here guys hope you guys enjoyed watching this video like this video if you liked it and more importantly like this video if you want Factorio to continue as a series and yes I know some of the Episodes tend to be boring, but I try to cut as much boring parts out of the video as possible humanly and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Hopefully you guys like my videos. Oh, how how did we run, run out of fast inserters? Are we not? We, yes, we weren't in the range of logistic networks. <laughs> Bring me some. Bring me some. I want to end this episode. <laughs>